Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. This is Sherry Blejo. The knowledge tip from CS3 Today is post-it notes or memos for Sage 100. This will make it easy for your team to communicate important information about customers, vendors, and inventory. The memo function is available in several places throughout the Sage 100 product, including customers, vendors, and inventory. Today I'm going to use the Customer Master for our presentation. So let's navigate to Accounts Receivable, Main, Customer Master. Once I'm in the maintenance screen, I'm going to pick the customer for which I want to add a post-it note. Today, I'm going to pick American Business Futures. As soon as I select them, you see a memo automatically appears. I'm going to show you how this occurs and how you can create one of your own. I'll just click OK to pass through this memo that already exists. Here, next to our record navigation buttons, is an icon that looks like a memo pad. When it's displayed in color, that indicates that notes exist. If it were grayed out, no notes have yet been attached. So I'm going to click on the notepad, which opens a selection list. You can see that this client currently has two notes attached, one for an invoicing policy and one for credit checking. I could double click on either of these and modify or delete them. Instead, I'm going to create a new memo by clicking on this button. A new memo pad has now been opened and I can enter in any unique code for my memo. In this case, I'm going to put the word ship because I'm going to make a memo about their shipping requirements. Now I'm going to give a full description. The memo date field is the system date that the memo was actually created. The expiration date is an optional date you can include if you want the memo to be purged. The next two fields, reminder start date and end date, allow us to control when reminders will pop up or be included for print. In this example, I'm going to leave them empty. The auto display determines when memos will display. Always will display regardless of the reminder start and stop dates. This is what I call the post-it note setting. Never will keep your notes attached, but will not display during any data entry. This would be a good setting for collection notes or notes with attachments like worksheets. Reminder date will, of course, display during the date range specified by the start and end date settings. This would be good if you were offering to sell an item to a client for a specific price for a limited time, maybe as a result of a new contract negotiation or a loss leader. I want this to always show or until the client gives us different shipping instructions. So I'm going to click Always. I have no attachment, so now I'll go straight into the shipping field. My next choice is to decide when I want this memo to pop up. Under Settings, I have many choices, and in this case, because it has to do with invoicing processes, I want to make sure that every time Accounts Receivable enters that they see the note, so I'm going to check it, yes. I also want to make sure any time Sales Order is generated, I want them to see that memo there as well. Once I've selected my options, I click OK and accept. Now let's see what this will look like for other users in the system. Let's navigate to Invoice Data Entry. I'll assign my invoice number and I'm going to pick ABF again, American Business Futures. When I do, 
you can see that the memo code or the post-it note I created is now showing. This is a powerful tool of Sage 100 that is too often overlooked. So power up your system by adding this extra level of information today. Yep, it's that easy. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you.